So it's Sunday morning. Beautiful, cold day. about quarter after eight. So it's still mostly vendors and exhibitors that are coming in. This is the, they call this the Mulberry entrance. And it's just because it's off of Mulberry Street. How many people did you guys have here yesterday? How many people came through yesterday? I don't know yet. I don't know. Probably around 20,000. Right, right? Yeah. So where are you buying tickets? Or? I'm a vendor. Huh? I'm a vendor. So okay. I got my... Oh, you do have them. Yeah. It was probably around there. So where? Okay. So where are you going to go, Bobby? It's just so different in the morning before everybody gets here. It's a totally different perspective, and this is what Rhinebeck always looks like to me. I never get out here when the crowds are here. <laughs> it's just so busy. We were so swamped yesterday, and a lot of really great activity. I had um, a chance to talk to the Long Thread Media people and we got some ideas for future magazine articles. It's gonna be really cool. And just a lot of people that I've met here before, prior years, that stopped by to say hello. A lot of really great feedback about the channel, which felt really great. So what I wanna do is I wanna try to interview a couple people that are gonna be lining up to get in before the festival begins and just kinda of Find out where they're from, you know, what brings them here, is this their first time, and just kind of get a feel for the, the crowd. So you're here at Rhinebeck, you're first in line. Where are you from? Across the river in Stone Ridge. Oh, wow. How many years have you been coming to Rhinebeck? Mm, uh, 20. 20. <laughs> it's really different now than it was, yes, right? Yeah, yeah. A lot Definitely. more. Like, more crowded, you know. But that's why I come on Sunday instead of Saturday. Aren't you clever? Yeah. And are you looking for anything in particular today? Um, mohair. Really? Yeah. Is there a project or something? Or I just use it in a lot of things. Nice. Socks. Okay. <laughs> oh, great, great. Well, thank you so much. You're I welcome. really appreciate it. Uh -huh. <laughs> Can I ask you some of questions course. for you yeah. too? Yeah. Thank you. So where are you from? I'm from Yonkers, originally Southern California. Oh my gosh, so how long did it take you to get here from Yonkers? Uh, about two hours. This yeah. morning you This morning, in. yeah, oh I woke gosh. up 5 a.m., left 6 a.m., got here about 8, so. Oh, good for you. Yeah. And how many years have you been coming to Rhinebeck? Uh, this is my second year. Oh, so yeah. fairly new. Fairly new. I've been oh, knitting yes. since I was seven, but getting out into the community has been always really difficult for me. Well, good for you. Yeah. Thank you. brave. <laughs> And last question is, are you looking for anything in particular today? What are you making? Um, I'm taking the Shetland shawl workshop today and I'm just looking for some beautiful art yarns to add to my collection. So our channel is all about raising Shetland sheep for their wool <laughs> and you're doing a Shetland shawl. So what, what drew you to that? It's something that's really beautiful and it's something that I would love to be able to make for myself. And I really love the geometry and the math when it comes to the lace patterns. How'd you hear about Shetland shawls? Like, where did you learn that um, that was a thing? My family's from Ireland and Scotland, oh and so the <laughs> history, you know. Wow. <laughs> I'm a big history nerd. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Well, thank you so much. Thank Have a great you. day. You I hope too. you find everything you want. Thank you. <laughs> so we're lining up. We're lining up for the <laughs> festival. I'm a YouTuber. So can I video you guys for my YouTube channel? Ask you a couple sure. questions. What's your what's your YouTube? Yeah. Yes, um, Whispering Pines Farm. I raise sheep for their wool. So mainly it's farm videos, but okay. we have a vendor booth here. So okay. Oh, okay. Fine. Yeah. So you had your own wool here? Yeah. What? Where are you at? Building C booth eight. Okay. Um, and what, what? What? What do you raise? Shetlands. Oh, soft, awesome. soft, soft Shetland. And I'm also a manager. Okay. Okay. 
Yeah. And what, sorry, what's the name of your home? Whispering Pines Fire. Whispering Building C for K. What's what uh, what's your house? Um, actually, <clears throat> it's more for spinners. I've got a lot of wool for spinning, and then I have a few hand spun skeins and a little bit of milled spun on um, deep base board. Like, okay. It's kind of like this way. Yeah, shuck, shuck. Wool is my favorite. Oh my gosh. Building C booth A. Okay. Right. Dirt from? You have dirt from? <laughs> I have two skeins of Moritz. Is what it's called. So get with it. It's Morit, not Brown. Yeah. So, oh, did you say Kivyet? Exactly. <laughs> Morit. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm not letting be a jerk. Yeah. That's what they call Brown in the Shetland Islands. Morit. Morit. <laughs> yeah. I know exactly what color it is. Yeah. She knows way more about it than we do. Yeah. <laughs> Where are you guys from? We are from Texas. Texas. Shut up. You came yeah. all the way. Where yeah. I'm originally from Pennsylvania. We used to come every year. I would about a three hour drive for us, and then we moved to Texas about six, seven years ago. Um, so we come back now still to come here. But this is her first time. Yes, She's never first year. Oh, yeah, so. welcome, welcome, welcome. We actually, the, we were first in line yesterday. <laughs> yeah, we were at like seven o'clock. It's like tailgating yeah. here, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, kind of, making friends and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Cool. yeah. that's really fantastic. Cool. So what are you guys, are you looking for anything in particular today? Any kind of projects you're working on or? We had our goals yesterday. So yeah, we went to like sweater quantity yesterday. Mm -hmm. Got a couple socks. What sweater are you going to make with it? The half tone sweater is like, um, it's got like one color on the bottom and a different color on the top and it's polka dots in the middle that kind of transition oh, into so really cute. fun. It's really cute. Nice. And you just love the yarn that you found for that. It was perfect and. Yeah. Yeah, it was um, Fiber MacGyver. She's yes. like right inside here. Yeah, really? She had really? And it was the like perfect like color combination. That's great. Oh, well, yeah, good. Really cool. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. What was your big score yesterday? So ours was I, Fiber MacGyver had really great yarn. That was yeah. the first time we've been there. Um, highly recommend stopping at that. Bit. Okay. Um, then we went to Miss Babs. We love Miss Babs. Of course. She's across She's the way from us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we like Miss Babs a lot. Um, and then we got the little sheep. Um, where you can put the, you wrap the yarn over and you make the little sheet. Yeah. We love those. We got those a couple years ago too. They were fun. Um, that's about it. Yeah. Great. So we're going to go get more today. Awesome. <laughs> Welcome, guys. Thank you so yeah, much. Thank you. Video. I appreciate it. Absolutely. <laughs> Welcome to Rhinebeck. So, where are you from? Hi, I'm from Richmond, Virginia. So, did you drive up this You didn't drive up this morning because you were here yesterday. Yeah. We flew in a few days ago and hit the ancillary festivals and then rhymed back. Which, which were those? What festivals? We went to India Untangled and Cake Palooza and A Woolen Affair. So, last year there was a, one that was kind of a debacle. Did they have that one this year? They did not. They didn't do it. Okay. All right. So, how many years have you been coming to Rhinebeck? I believe this is my fourth year. I love it. Really? Yes. <laughs> How did you find out about it originally? Um, I don't know. It's been years. This festival is legendary. So the more you knit and the more you find out about events, this is like the white white whale. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> of fiber That's festivals. Right. You got to do it once in a lifetime. Yeah. So are you looking for anything in particular today when you're I am tasked to get some of Miss Babs' show color for a friend. Oh, okay. Other than that, it's just stash acquisition. <laughs> Things that make you happy. <laughs> Understand? So you got I see you got the bag. I did. So this is the bag uh -huh. with the with the design for 2024. Yes. That's the 2024 bag. And you're wearing some handmade stuff and carrying yes. some handmade. So can you talk about that for sure. a second? Sure. This is deeply rooted. It's one of my favorite makes. Um, I want to say the yarn is from Suburban Stitcher. Okay. It's very easy. This was my first mattress Beautiful. stitch because there's just one seam on it. And so I learned the ma magic of mattress stitch. Nice. And I'm working on finishing my Freedom Knitter's Tea. It's got a portrait of Miss Harris that I'm working on a duplicate stitch. Nice. That's fantastic. So I'm, I always like to do celebrity sightings here at this mm -hmm. event. I saw Uma Thurman a couple of years ago. No. Yeah. What? She walked right by me. But <gasps> she actually bought a jacket from the lady next to me because I think wow. she needed the hood to cover her head. Right. You know? <laughs> um, but this year I want to see Emma Emhoff, Kamala's stepdaughter, right? Someone just mentioned her to me and I followed her on Instagram. Yeah. That would be really Wouldn't sweet. Wouldn't that be awesome? Yes, that would be great. And I have to ask you about your ha hat. It really oh stands out and it's fantastic. I get so many questions about this hat. <laughs> this hat is a feather boa 
that was on a different hat that I got over 20 years ago. <laughs> and the, the other hat just did its business. It died. It lit, you know, it served its purpose. It went to many festivals. It just makes me feel festive and it, it flows. It's just chicken feathers. It's it fits so well. Oh, oh my gosh. So Go ahead. The line oh, is moving. Oh, the line, the is, line moving. is moving. All right. Have, have a good great show. Day. Bye, Thank guys. You. Can friend. you tell me what you uh, Whispering Pines Farm. Whispering Pines. Building Sea Buffet. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Have fun, you guys. <laughs> oh my god, it's so exciting. I gotta get to the booth. We gotta get to the booth. <laughs> how things look Sunday morning. We've got four minutes before we start. The curly bits, still not finding a home. Um, did a good amount of one ounce, but not as much as I thought, but that's okay, because this is gonna see me through the whole year. A lot of wool bats. Found new homes. I think I sold the skein, or Rich sold the skein of the mill yarn, and then a lot of the hand spun is, is gone and gone elsewhere this is the pin drafted roving so it's a little more textured than my comb top it's still nice and soft and crimpy but it's gonna spin up a little bit more like a tweedy look it's a little bit different and I only have fawn and gray right now felting kits Got a little movement and then just tons of magic craft pieces, parts, a lot of conversations about magic craft yesterday, so well, I'm very pleased. Alright, so that's that's it. I got a couple more things I want to do before the festival starts in two minutes and then we'll get to work. That's a wrap. Sunday, four o'clock. We're gonna now start loading up the van, head home, and that'll be the end of Rhinebeck 2024. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and hope you can come back soon. So just you know what?